I'm here with Shireen. She is the owner of Park City Food Tours. Can you tell me a little bit about what it is that you do? So it's a tour of Main Street. We have a really dynamic, fun Main Street here in Park City. So it's a tour of Main Street with a culinary twist. So we go in and we go into some restaurants and try their cuisine. So it ends up being a full meal by the time we get down to the bottom of the street. Then we also go into some fun, entertaining places just meant to show everyone a good time. So I'm here with Tommy Bergen. He is a general manager here at Flanagan's Pub. Can you give me a little bit of the history of Flanagan's? One of the owners is the great-grandson of Charlie Kentworthy, who was one of the first orphan kids that Father Flanagan brought in to his orphanage in Omaha, Nebraska. Very nice. Park City Food Tours brings in people to our little restaurant, show them the history of Father Flanagan's, the history of the building. It's a 120 plus year old building. Be able to showcase some of our Irish fare, as well as be able to educate them on the history of Father Flanagan. Fantastic. So I'm here with Lori. You're at Mountain Town Olive Oil, and we have gourmet olive oil and balsamic vinegar. So it makes cooking simple, easy, and fun. Nice, and I'm here with uh, Park City Food Tours. Can you tell me uh, how you're associated with them and how long they've been uh, coming through? Well, Sharin is just lovely, and she knows a lot about olive oil. Excellent with food tours. It's just, it's been a wonderful experience. We made a lot of good friends, and it's a good thing we have in Park City, so. Thank you very much. I'm here with Tim. He is the manager here at Zoom. Can you tell me a little bit about the history of the uh, restaurant? Well, it's old train depot. Standing right here, we have the uh, old original scale that all the cars would pull through and they take all the luggage off of the train and then weigh all the baggage and make sure everything was legit. We have the original floor and railroad ties. Every Tuesday, we uh, tend to have a, a, a small group or even sometimes up to 14 or 15 that come through. Uh, we've done cocktails, we've done a different entree each and every time. They get to sit at the counter, which is one of my favorite spots here at the restaurant. People dig it, people love it, get to watch the chefs in action, and it's a cool opportunity, good spot to be. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Tim. So I'm here with Brett. He is a manager here at Butcher's. Can you tell us a little bit about your association with Park City Food Tours? Um, yeah, actually, Sharin, she runs the food tours, and actually she comes in and she helps us by uh, bringing people who've never been here before. She helps get a lot more exposure for you and a couple other local restaurants in town. Exactly. Are you seeing a, uh, a larger amount of locals, more tourists, people visiting just for the week or two? Yeah, actually, I've been seeing a lot more tourists lately, um, especially like right now in the season. It's bringing a lot more people in, so the last few months we have been absolutely busy. But as far as the off-season goes, I see more of the locals. Uh, we have a huge local support. So I'm here with Adam at the Flying Sumo. What would you say makes Flying Sumo unique? It's been a local's favorite because of consistency. It's lively, it's family friendly, very home cooking, little nouveau, and there's some old favorites that people like. I think consistency is one of the big things. I've tried to keep this place consistent. So I'm here with Mary, and we just finished a uh, Park City food tour. Mary, what are your first thoughts? Oh, it was just delicious and interesting, and uh, I just loved uh, learning about the history. I've lived here for a few years part-time, and I didn't know any of these wonderful facts, so it was just wonderful. I enjoyed all the history, and I enjoyed having a sampling at all the restaurants, so that now I know where to go back, because I want to go back to every one of them. Very nice. Well, thank you very much. I've been doing these tours. This is my fourth year now, and I love this. This is the best thing that I have ever done in my life. And I tell people I reinvent myself about every four years, but this is my favorite thing because you got to figure the great thing about it is I meet people at the top of the street. They're here to have a good time and be entertained. And then I get to talk to everybody about anything. We'll talk about anything. We'll talk about Earth's curvature, whatever pops into our heads. So it's so much fun. And people that want to have a good time and hanging out with them for three and a half hours and eat Eating good food, enjoying good wine, enjoying Main Street, there is literally nothing better than that. Thank you very, very much.
We just finished an awesome food tour of Park City. We had a lot of good food, learned a lot about this town, and had some fun while we were doing it. Thank you, Shireen.